This is the evolution of the Krylophosaurus. So of course the Krylophosaurus was discovered in 1994. First off, it started off as actually not super far off from today. It's just that its head over here, those head crests look a little bit weird, look a little bit blocky for today. Then as we move on to the 2000s, its head crest doesn't look as blocky. Meanwhile, the Krylophosaurus has quite a lot of feathering. This is 2005, by the way. As we move on to the 2010s, once again, the Krylophosaurus is back to not being fluffy. The head crests are definitely smaller, but pointier. And we are greeted with this sleek build. And of course, the 2020s Krylophosaurus is basically just the 2010s Krylophosaurus, but more colorful. Obviously, these are unrealistic colors for the Krylophosaurus, but you get the idea. The colors are a bit more like this. So, yeah. What do you guys think of the Krylophosaurus evolution? Let me know in the comments down below. 